Hey. Hello guys, this is Mani Kartikya and welcome to another episode of uh, Blogging 101. As you can see, this is a slightly different episode because the uh, background is different. I'm not in my office right now. I'm in Las Vegas. I came here to attend um, an internet marketing conference called uh, PubCon. And I'm at this hotel, uh, pretty good hotel. It's called uh, Bellagio, right at the Vegas Strip. So thought it will be kind of different and a nice change uh, to talk to you from here. So let's uh, see. Okay, so there we are. Okay, so let's discuss a little bit about what are the things that got discussed at PubCon that bloggers like you and me can make use of. Uh, throughout the conference, throughout different multiple panels and of discussion and expert panels, uh, the common theme was that you have to optimize your website for user intent. Uh, what that means is you know back in the old days everything about seo and optimization was all about keywords and making sure you write content based on keywords and you know plug in the keywords here and there do you know small small changes to your website like change change the page title or uh, you know change the head headings uh, image optimization and things like that uh, to make your website optimizable optimized <laughs> uh, but uh, this time around, what I've been hearing is that uh, there's a lot of emphasis or focus put on um, user intent and optimizing your website for user intent. What that means is, you know, when somebody is searching for a particular keyword, they have a certain intent in their mind. Uh, for example, uh, bank account is one keyword that um, one of the gentlemen who was talking uh, at PubCon, I forget his name, uh, he, he mentioned that uh, example so one of his clients had bank account as their top keyword and uh, their understanding or their assumption was that everyone who's looking for bank account uh, is probably or everyone who's searching for bank account is probably looking to open a bank account that was the assumption so they were ranking number one or two for that particular keyword and they were getting a lot of traffic and everything was fine uh, but one day uh, there's a rapper, I forget his name too, but he came out with a song called Bank Account. Uh, so suddenly what happened was the, this client of uh, uh, this gentleman, they lost the whole traffic they, because they lost the, tra uh, the rank. And uh, the first result was uh, the lyrics from this particular song called Bank Account. So, you know, suddenly there was a lot of traffic lost. And then people freaked out because they thought that, you know, because of the traffic is lost, uh, you know, they're going to lose business. But that didn't happen as a surprise. As a matter of fact, after a few weeks or months, uh, even though there was a huge decline in the number of traffic for the keyword bank account, uh, they were getting actually the same kind of uh, new bank accounts opened. Uh, so the number of bank accounts opened didn't go down as they thought it would. Uh, because you know they lost the traffic so what is the what is the moral there you know the thing that we should learn there is that you know people when they search for bank account they probably weren't looking for uh, opening a bank account they were looking for something more generic as in understanding what a bank account is it could be people who are not uh, uh, eligible to open a bank account so a lot of things goes into it so the basic assumption that everybody who is searching for bank account is going to open a bank account is not a good assumption basically um, so that is where search intent or user intent uh, comes into picture and Google and most of the other experts say that whenever you look into keywords think of the intent behind that keyword uh, and see if, how you can optimize your content so that every user who comes in uh, searching for a particular keyword on your website uh, satisfies his desire or fixes that problem which may he may be having or finds a solution for the problem that he may be having and what that means to the webmaster or a blogger is that don't just pick up keywords and write pages on pages relevant uh, articles or, or you know um, pages for that particular keyword like for example I know a lot of people what they do is they look at keyword research tools and say okay keyword A has 1000 searches per month keyword B has 2000 searches per month what that means is 
let's create two pages, keyword A and keyword B, and then have a long optimized page for it so that you get you know ranks for both these keywords. Uh, that is an old way of doing it, doing thing, uh, search engine optimization. So right now the uh, emphasis on search intent. So what happens is in this scenario, you have to look into whether keyword A or keyword B is the same. And if there is any overlaps or if you could combine it to one page and make sure that you optimize for long keywords and figure out what are the things that he, the person who is searching for this keyword might be looking into. Uh, and, and based on that, you optimize your content so that he doesn't have to go back to Google and search for something related on another website. He should probably be sticking around in your website, going through pages after pages, or even in the same page scrolling down uh, to, to fulfill whatever he's, or to find whatever he's searching for. So that is a kind of uh, argument and that, that those are the kind of recommendations I'm, I'm getting uh, from a lot of the experts these days. And I think it makes sense. You know, gone are the days that, you know, we could pick up keywords and just write pages on pages uh, content that could be relevant or relevant, but it's just keyword focused. Uh, the problem there is that, you know, your competitor would also be doing the same thing. I mean, everybody has access to keyword research. Everybody knows that keyword research is the backbone of uh, content marketing and SEO. So everyone is actually picking up those keywords and writing content based on it. So then what happens is everything just levels out. Uh, so unless your website has some sort of authority, some sort of expertise, then you know it doesn't uh, it doesn't really matter whether you have a, a page for every keyword or not. Uh, so that's the takeaway. Uh, I mean, I know this is just one example, but I think it kind of sums up uh, a lot of the things that was discussed at PubCon and. Uh, you know, a lot of the webmasters out there, they also agree that, you know, they're seeing more results for these kind of, this kind of um, uh, user intent or search intent based optimization as opposed to, uh, you know, a keyword based optimization strategy, which used to work in the past, but um, not uh, anymore. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and uh, let me just show you the view here. Okay, this is my hotel room. I told you it's called Bellagio. And uh, this is how it looks like. It's beautiful here in Vegas. Beautiful, isn't it? All right. All right, guys. So thanks for listening. I hope you liked uh, this uh, video. I will be vlogging more once I get back home. I have a 23 hours flight ahead. And uh, as soon as I reach, I'll put up even a bigger uh, video on PubCon uh, takeaways and things I learned from PubCon. All right, so take care. Subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.